A skilled post score with tremendous size, the seven-footer, Brook Lopez. And it's Garnett, and it's Pierce in at the four. And for the Heat, Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. And playing at the five, the always versatile 6'11 star big man, able to score inside and out, Chris Bosh. And it's LeBron James, and it's Haslam in at the four slot. Timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Here's Johnson. Now LeBron. Wade outside. Back to LeBron. The feet to Aslam. Heat moving the ball around. On the top of the key, misses off the right iron. Wade seems to be slowing down just a touch. You know, the, the difficulty as you get older, when you're not a great jump shooter, which Wade is not, is that the defenses will back off you. And that's the big challenge now for Dwayne Wade, adjusting to that newer style of defense that he's going to be looking at. Here's Chalmers, and goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. And he came off that screen. The defense just couldn't get over the top. Beautiful play. Yep, and without a hand in his face, he's going to bury those. Heat on D. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. I had a chance to talk with the head coach for Brooklyn. There haven't been many players that have the physical prowess of LeBron James, and he knows that this is going to pose a lot of problems for his team. He told me the most amazing thing to him about LeBron was that he has the ability to be a force at virtually any position on the floor, from point guard to center. He can and does do it all, guys. All right, Doris, thanks. Bosch kicks to Wayne. Knocked away and taken away by Johnson. In transition, here come the Nets. Out of bounds, Miami takes possession. First quarter just over a minute played. And Steve, you go back to the strong output for Dwayne Wade last season for the fourth time. In his career, he averaged over 20 points and five rebounds and five assists. Again, Clark, one of only four players in the league last season to hit that mark. And, Kevin, he led all shooting guards and player efficiency rating for the fifth consecutive season. Some might argue, but the numbers speak truth. He's the best shooting guard in the game. Here's LeBron. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Chalmers against Johnson. LeBron drives in. Six on the shot clock. Chalmers passes to Haslam. And that one's good. Haslam's got his first pass. You know... He head coach Eric Spolster worked his way up from the very bottom in that organization. I mean, he got his start as a video coordinator and through years of hard work and dedication has really become an outstanding coach. Well, he'd have gone two or five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And Wade slams it in. Tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, I think he did plenty of damage anyway. It was only with one hand, but he threw it down pretty hard. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. And back to coach Eric Spolstra as a guy who got his start as a video coordinator. Picking the game apart, Steve, he's very comfortable with the new advanced stat movement, analytics in the yes. NBA. Yeah, and I've had a chance to speak with him quite a bit. He says that the way they use advanced stats is just uh, as a conversation piece in the coaching room. Uh, their, their analytics department will bring them various information, and it will force them to ask questions, which is very healthy uh, for a coaching staff to do. And that's trail by four. Garnett outside. Oh, oh, oh. 
Puts up a three. Miami grabs the miss. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. You know, we talked about the Nets' deliberate pace of play earlier. One of the benefits of playing a slower game is that they rarely were in foul trouble. When you build a team around stars as they have, you want to make sure that they're on the court as much as possible. Darren Williams checked in for Brooklyn. Nets have gone just one of four to get this game started. Pulls it up. Chris Bosh with the rebound. Bosh has got three rebounds now in this one. And as you said about the Nets, Clark, last season, very careful not to get in foul trouble. Very important to a team that depends so heavily on their stars. Steve DeLog, big minutes and provide the score. And a large part of it is that they just play at a slower pace. But, you know, this team just knows how to win the war of the whistles. Not only did they avoid fouls, but they have guys who know how to draw contact in the lane, get to the line, and, and put the other team in foul trouble. Andre Kirilenko has checked in for Brooklyn. And he fires. Can't get it to go. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. From deep. And again, no good by Brooklyn. The Heat leading by six. Battier sets the pick for LeBron. Pass to Chalmers. There's the three. Darren Williams grabs the miss. Last season for Darren Williams, his lowest assist per game average since his rookie season, down under eight a game. One thing he said, he talked about himself being a system player, looking for maybe a more system offense under Jason Kidd now. And it's out of bounds to the Heat as Miami retains possession. And the Nets making a change here. 